Aloha all. I'm in editing bay today, uh, working on some new awesomeness that I'll be sharing with you very soon. But in the meanwhile, today's share is a part I made for Omar Hassan, one of the all-time great skaters in the history of skateboarding and all-around rippers. Um, back when I was working on this piece, I asked Omar for his music preference, and he shared that he was never able to get a Bad Brains track cleared for his skateboarding parts. So I took note of that and contacted the Bad Brains active manager, Anthony Countney, and was super grateful I was able to strike an independent bartering deal with him and the band to use their track Universal Peace from the album Build a Nation. Hoping this part stokes you all out. Love and respect to all those involved. And please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep bringing you this awesomeness. Much love. Living in Orange County, where I lived, I had influences like Jeff Grosso and, uh, like I said, Dwayne. And, you know, I skated with Hasoy a lot back then because he came into town for a while. I always would, you know, hang out with Salbar or whoever, and they'd take me to pools. And those guys really gave me that uh, idea of what skating's about because they never stopped doing it the way that they wanted to do it. And, you know, I was kind of like the younger version of ball riding, I guess, you know, and, and, and concrete skateboarding because... Like I said, it, 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 you know, you weren't going to catch um, a lot of pros, especially at that time, wanting to even skate that stuff because it wasn't quote unquote marketable or cool enough for the mag or cool enough for whatever they thought that they needed to do to, to get paid or do whatever, you know. That's what's so cool about parks and pools and because everyone skates differently and everyone has their own unique style and everyone's kind of doing their own own thing you don't get the same guy jumping down oh uh, you know what what trick did he do down this rail or you know that mentality people that understand understand back then I, no one understood what i was doing especially all my friends at school or whatever you know I, they knew i skated or whatever but it wasn't something that you did to we make money or be accepted by a certain crew you just did it for the feeling and the and the way that you know it made you feel i think what's helped me throughout all the years is just having an open mind and trying to just skate everything i can not not try to limit myself just riding my skateboard you know with all my friends and i, I never really want to miss out on a session with my friends they're gonna go skate uh, even if i suck at whatever they're gonna be skating i'll just be a part of it you know i've always been fortunate enough to have people support me to be able to go out and do all these things i'm in a lucky position to be able to, to go and hang out with my friends and just go skate and ride. And for just the, the simple fact, I don't really have anything else in my life, but you know, skateboarding has always gave me that, uh, you know, satisfaction.
And a huge shout and thank you to the contributing filmers, Pat Myers, Grant Schubert, Pat Nagy. Um, without your footage, it's a half a part. So thank you for your contributions. Much respect. Big thanks to Omar for working with me on um, delivering this part. That was the uh, last chapter and encore of Smell the Creed. Skate hard, stay stoked.